Yep, that's the vibe we are channeling today. <laughs> Bottoms up to you, celebrating this morning on National Margarita Day. Yes, yeah, such a classic song. Everyone knows it. We are joined live by local bartender Bryce Wade to show us some great options. Happy to have you with us here. Happy to be here. You probably love this holiday as a professional bartender. Uh, I just a lot of margaritas to make all night, so <laughs> there you it go. should be really fun. Now, oh, what goes into making a really good margarita? Uh, I would say really good tequila and freshly squeezed lime juice. So for you guys, I squeezed some lime juice fresh, fresh lime this juice. morning. So. Let's quickly talk about the difference, uh, the different kinds of tequila. I know there's yeah. dark tequila, clear tequila. Tell us. So there's three main types, which is going to be Blanco, Reposado, and Anejo. See, actual um, names. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even think you're like, dark light. So <laughs> Blanco is just like, there's no like barrel aging. Reposado is going to be at least six months. And then um, Anejo is th uh, two or more years. All right. And different tastes with all three, I would imagine, right? Yeah. So some, you'll get some of the barrel notes um, the more you age it. Mm. Um, the one that we're using today is actually a Blanco, but it's rested for a month in Cabernet barrels. So, so interesting. It's, huh. it's technically a Blanco because it's not six months, uh, mm -hmm. but you still get a little bit of the elements of what was in the barrel beforehand. Okay, so, a little extra fun. flavor. Yeah. I like it. All right, so we are making a classic and then a spicy. Yes. Let's so, start. So, I mean, spicy is one of my favorite drinks. I like my uh, martinis <laughs> dirty and my margarita spicy. Love so. like Spoken that. like a true bartender. <laughs> I love it. All right, so are we starting with the spicy one first? Where, what do you want to start um, with? I was going to make them both at the same time. Love. If that works, um, it's kind of similar specs, so I figure it's easy enough. Yeah. Um, so we're going to take some of these jalapenos, mm -hmm. um, depending on how, how spicy do we like it. I like it medium. Medium spice. Medium. All right, I'm going to do three slices for us. And then I'm going to do agave in that. Mm. And that's just to pull out sweetness. some of that spice. I'll do agave in this one later. Yeah. Um, and then we are going to do tequila in both. And how do you measure? So you'll see on this jigger, it has multiple lines. OK. Yeah. And so each line is going to say how much. So all the way up is going to be two ounces. Uh, one and three quarter, one and a half, and then one ounce. But you can also do the whole thing as one and okay. one oh, ounce here. Okay, okay. And you so probably what, can just do this by hand. But obviously, being here, we are teaching everyone as well. So that's smart that we can yeah. have the measurements. Um, I mean, these are pretty easy to use. They say it on there. Yeah. Um, so two ounces of tequila for a margarita is a safe bet. Safe bet, okay. one and a half to two ounces. I like mine strong, so I'm going to be doing it with uh, two ounces. All right. For making um, at home today, listen up. <laughs> so with these jalapenos, I'm just going to muddle that up, get Yum. some of those spices out, make sure you, you get those seeds in there because that's going to give it a little bit of that extra spice. Yep. And so now that that's muddled up, we'll also add the tequila to this one. Okay. Now I know that there are some Wait, spicy tequilas out there as well. Do you think that crushing up the jalapenos is more effective than those or just There's each going to be different flavors. So you're going to get a little bit more of the vegetalness of a jalapeno mm -hmm. um, from the infused tequilas right. just because okay. it sits longer. This is a quick shake, so you'll get the spiciness and a little bit of the jalapeno. So Love okay. it. depending on what you're feeling. Um, and then this is Cointreau, so this yep. is a tequila-based orange liqueur. Yep. Um, this is what I highly recommend for a margarita. Great. Um, just because I like to stick with um, tequila-based spirits for it, just like with agave, which is the sweetener that we used. Yep. And what's um, the measurements for this one? A little less than the tequila, yes. right? So this this is three-quarter ounce, so three-quarter okay. okay. of the way up. Yep. Perfect. And then, um, I forgot agave in this one. Can't so forget the sweetness. The classic and the spicy, I like that. And then we are going to do a whole ounce, so all the way up whole on this ounce of lime small juice. size. And it makes a big difference when it's fresh lime juice. Yes. I will say there's been research done saying that freshly squeezed right out of the lime is not as popular as if it's been sitting in the refrigerator for oh, an hour. Oh, that would make which sense. Which is kind of funny. Yeah. Because, I mean, the flavor changes over time. So you're going to be squeezing a lot of limes tonight. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's shake these babies up. Yep. I would imagine there's an art form to the way you shake them as well. Um, a little bit. So it's more of just like kind of pushing the liquid through because you yep. get some of that aeration. And then you can also have that dilution happen. So and we'll leave that to you. We'll leave the shaking to you because we are running out of time and we know yep. you're fast. <laughs> Sound. Just a quick little shake. Yep. There you go. And then with the uh, jalapeno one, you definitely want to Use double that strain strainer. that. Strainer. So we are going to be using a double strainer for this. All right. So we're going to do the classic first. Classic first, okay. Yep. We are heading that to commercial way. break, so we'll watch I you gotcha. pour. 
Look at there that. There we go. Beautiful. Ooh, yum, if you yum, make yum. any of these at home, let us know. Send us a pic on social. And then if you notice on the spicy one on the rim, I did do a tahini rim, oh, yeah. which is going to be a, sp or a spicy chili salt, basically. Great. Looking good. And then just throw some ice in there and you're good. I love it. Price Thank Salute. you so much. Cheers. Happy margarita day. Yes. And to you as well. We'll be right back. Thank, Thank you. you.